Hello, everybody. How's it going? Sorry, I'm, I'm like a few seconds late hitting live. I was actually chatting with people and lost track of time. But uh, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. I always do appreciate it. Nothing special tonight. This is going to be the usual, usual jackassery. Let me straighten the camera up just a little bit. We'll talk about some knives and some other stuff. There we go. I can see your chat and everything on my screen now. So first of all, the beer... I have to thank one of you. I can't remember who it was. Um, oh, bang the camera. Hey, Dirk. Hey, Randy. Hey, Ethan. Sharp and Blade, everybody. Um, <clears throat> we, we always talk about what beer we're drinking that night. Somebody mentioned 90 Minute. I think it might have even been on my giveaway video. Um, yeah, I went and got some. I remember, oh my God, I haven't had a 90 Minute in forever. I love these things. Dogfish Head 90 Minute Imperial IPA. It is awesome. I've always liked this stuff. I like the 120 even better, but the 120 is pretty hard to come by. I actually almost got kicked out of my beer snob group one time. They were really mad at me because I was new. And let me drink my beer a second. Let me wet my whistle. Mmm, that's delicious stuff. The 120 minute IPA. I didn't. I didn't realize how hard it is to get. <laughs> they don't make much of it. And our local beer store had some, and I bought went down, they posted a thing on, I think it was Facebook, saying, hey, we have 120 in stock, and they're right around the corner. I went down and bought two four-packs. I didn't realize that was like a third of all of the 120-minute IPA that Rochester got. <laughs> so everyone was really upset with me that um, I bought eight bottles of it. And by the time they told me how uh, hard it was to come by, I think I'd already drank two of them. And then uh, I did go to one of our little meetup things, and I brought two more and, you know, passed them around. But, yeah, the 120 is really hard to get your hands on. But the 90 you can usually get, especially this time of year. Mmm. I love 90 Minute. It's so good. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for coming out so much. I'm trying to I try to bring out some stuff that you guys like that I haven't had on the channel for a little while. One newish thing. Uh, the bug out. We're going to talk about that in a little bit more in depth in a moment. Um, yeah, I guess the Chavez is a bit new. I want to talk about that too. Had, had a little had a little issue with it. I fixed it, but um, yeah, maybe super eagle eyed people. If be super eagle eyed, you can see what I changed on it. But uh, it is a visible thing. Thank you very much, Freedom Van, and uh, thanks to viewers and Justin's last week. I picked up a Cold Steel eighty fifteen, and I love it. Didn't really need to drop one hundred fifty dollars on a knife, but I did. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this is a Demco 8015. It's not a cold steel one. It's an actual Demco. And you know what? Uh, I brought this out because I want to talk about this. Um, <clears throat> I hadn't carried it in a while. I got it. I really like, I've been chasing one forever. Got a really good deal on it. Um, one of you lovely viewers pointed one out to me. I got it for a very good deal. Um, but I hadn't carried it in a while and it's worth a good bit of money. I could probably get 500 bucks for it in two minutes. Buying Christmas presents, I got to put winter tires on my truck and stuff. And I thought, you know what? I, I think I might just sell it. And then I carried it for a day. And I'm like, what are you, what is wrong with you? Why would you sell this? I'll sell two or three other things that I could replace. <laughs> I'm not selling this thing. I don't know what, I had a stroke or something. I don't know why. Listen to that sound. The, the cold steel ones don't make that noise. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, Dirk Verning says, uh, Verning says, I like the 8020 a little better than the 8015. Yeah, I do too. I, I like the 8020 a bit better as well. That's why I was thinking about selling this, but, um, no, I still really like this as well. It's different. Uh, James Healy says, I've been waiting on waypoint availability to torture, but they are going to be out pretty soon. I know, like, I would say definitely in the next two or three weeks, the last I heard sell them. Sharpen Blaze is selling that would be a big no-no. Yes, definitely for sure. Somebody else asked a question I saw pass by here, and I missed it. Uh, oh, what's the handle material on the 8015? This is uh, micarta. It's brown micarta. Uh, that buck is a good one. I own several bucks and have... Yeah, I brought this one out because uh, there's some good news on this front. This is SK Blaze. This is the Grey Ghost with the S35VN and the smooth gray G10. Um, SK Blades did get some cautiously good news. Just banged a knife against something. I feel like Metal Complex. All right, didn't do anything. Um... They got some cautiously good news from Buck that maybe it's not going to be super soon, but they may be able to resume production on their custom uh, 
one-off uh, bucks. So that's very good. Very, 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 very happy about that. Uh, what's the, what angle is that shiny edge you put on Demco? I don't know. I, I didn't put it on there. That is from the previous owner. It's an Apostle P edge, so I have have no idea. Um, waiting for my IQ tomorrow with luck. My next QC will be the waypoint for sure. I have another quiet carry arriving on the morrow as well. Um, I have a uh, an IQ coming. Oh, yeah, you said an IQ. Yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah, I have an IQ arriving tomorrow too. So we are... Uh, we are both the same. Uh, the Inferno version marksman. It's the same as this. It just has a black coated blade and the orange. Drinking a Guinness. That's always a, that's always a good shout. I am I am half Irish, half Scottish, right down the middle. So I also enjoy a Guinness. That's pretty much all my son drinks. He just turned twenty one, and he just not just turned twenty one a little while ago, and that's his beer of choice is a uh, Guinness. What is to the left of that buck? Uh, this is a. Uh, Chavez 229 Liberation. Ever try an Alchemist Heady Topper? I have not. I don't know what that is. Love your content. Waiting for a drop Mordex. Good knife. Very good knife. I don't have one anymore, but that means nothing. If I sell a knife, doesn't mean any doesn't mean I didn't like it. it. Means I have no more videos planned for it, unless it's really part of the permanent, permanent collection. Which I would put like this knife in that category. Um, I have a few that are like that, but, uh, oftentimes if I sell a knife, it's just that I have no more videos planned for it and got to feed the beast. First hinder should be arriving tomorrow. Uh, days ago, Jurassic with stonewashed textured tie, tie scales. Ooh, that's a very nice one. I love those textured ties. I really, I'm keeping an eye out. They seem to be pumping out a lot of the tie scales. I want a plain textured tie and a plain textured carpet, but I think I'm getting one of those. They're they're building me a knife, and I, I think it has those on it. That's what I asked for. I just gave one away, and I was very jealous of it, and they said they would make me one. So I assume I'm going to have to pay for it, but they're uh, they're making me one. I'm going to get a Bowie, Battle Black Bowie with a textured carbon scales. It'll be, it'll be evil, fruit of the devil. I hope I'm getting it anyway. I haven't talked to him in a while. i got to put him on the spot. Um, Thinking about... Guinness, I wanted to go out and get some tomorrow. Well, mm, it's very good. Currently looking into the ZT0055. Do you have video on it? I do not. It doesn't even really ring a bell as to which one that is, so I assume I don't. But it's possible. I forget all the time that I reviewed stuff. Brian, considering uh, getting after a Grail in Brass GM Clyde, it's been a minute since your vid how are you feeling about him these days the Clyde I don't have it anymore actually I did that I got that in a uh trade me anything video and I think I gave it away in the subsequent trade me anything video it was a nice knife it just I sometimes I like to give away stuff that I got in the previous video uh just place an order for a custom smock can't wait nav sergeant might you might be doing that that's all I'll say about that um EDC life. I, I don't agree with that. I, I've, I've never really had a, a bad time with any of my giant mice. Oh, might have been all right. I have, still have a... Uh... Yep. The Vox. Well, they're all Vox. The very Voxy looking... I can't remember. It's got a lot of vowels in it. Biblio. There we go. It's the, I still have a Biblio. I like it a lot. I just saw they um, released some new ones, too. I mean, I've had several giant mice, and I've never had a problem with any of them. Uh, what's up, Slicey? A favorite time of the week. Glad to hear that, M237. Uh, I have to choose between a 940 or smock for my Christmas knife, and I chose the 940-2. Very cool. Um, wish I'd known about the blue 20 CD marks. Oh, I never, I never knew about that either. Never knew about it. Is the 8015 drop show you? This one is, yeah, this is a... Demco one. I always want to say a real one, but that's not accurate. Yeah, this is just twist of the wrist, and it makes that noise. Nope, as I missed the thumb stud. Oh, love that noise. Hmm. One gun. Hello, hello, fellow edged weapon friends. They're not weapons to me. They're tools. One of the tools it can be used for is that, but that is not uh, why I'm into knives. 
Do you like Hogue knives? Yeah, I've got a couple of them. I've, I've had many. I have a Decca and a Mini RSK Ritter. By the way, that reminds me, because it's one that you guys have been suggesting a lot. If, if you go to the community page, um, if you go back to like the main my main page, and you click on the community thing, it comes up in your feed, but people miss it. I have a post in the community page asking just for your comments, for your favorite EDC knives um, under 150 bucks and it doesn't have to be new or anything like that just your favorite edc knives for under 150 bucks preferably something that is still made i've had some people suggest sprint run stuff well it ain't 150 bucks anymore so that ain't gonna work but i'm kind of compiling from your comments and i'm gonna do a top five edc knives uh according to you edc folders according to you to you guys so I've got a, already gotten a lot of responses. There are a few that are already runaways that I know are going to get in it. Um, but, yeah, go check that out. Hey, Random Rob, how's it going? Uh, just joined. Do you have a Boker Auto? Um, yes, I have two Kalashnikovs, and then uh, my son has a Thunder something? Thunder Strike? Where are my Bokers? Because one is really silly, and I like bringing it out. I mean, in this case, yes, they are. Actually... Uh, correction, they're both silly for different reasons. So, this is silly just because it's the, the Warthog thing. I like it, though. Um, this was a gift from a viewer, and I really do like it. It's a really cool knife. Um, I was in the Flying Tiger, so I have a lot of Warthog stuff. My first assignment in the Air Force was with what is now called the Flying Tigers. Obviously did not serve in World War II. I'm not that old. Um, but, yeah, this is just cool because I don't use this one at all because the paint job and stuff. I don't want to scratch it up. Um... And then I have, this one I do actually use, even though it is gigantic. I have the XXL. It's not even going to fit all on camera, is it? We'll just do like this. We'll do the Star Wars entering thing. And yeah, it's a Ferrari flag up there. I don't own a Ferrari. I'm just a fan. Oh yeah, that's what somebody asked how I felt about Ferrari. That was a great race. Leclerc made a stupid mistake there. I don't like it when Vettel finishes ahead of Leclerc, but because Vettel's on his way out and I don't like him. But um, other than that, really great race. Uh, Dirk Verning and uh, I always say Verning. Do you go by Werning or Verning? I don't know. I just always say Verning because I lived in Germany too long. And Random Rob, the two people who are conspiring to make me get into watches. Um, would you like to review a Kaiser Justice? Ah, eh, I don't know. It's it's not. I have a lot of stuff. It's not a priority. Um, I got a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, it's pronounced with a W, not a V. Okay. Dirk Warning. All right. Sorry. Uh, pocket dump, please. What else did I have in my pockets today? Um, well, I was carrying the size comparison, PM2. I don't carry this that often, honestly, with the Sharp Dress Knives scales on it. Um, it's pretty, and I don't know why I don't carry it. It's the S45VN Sprint Run that I, I did that to. And then I got a um, yeah, F701 Zebra Pen, pretty inexpensive, and, uh, what else? My, uh, it's not Das Offamere anymore, Deep, Deep Sea Leather? Something? Yeah, it's not Das Offamere anymore. Yeah, Deep Sea Leather is what it is in German. Um, my newer one, Gun Deck, Open Sea, yeah, that's what it is, Open Sea, not Deep Sea, Open Sea. Um... Oh, these scales are, uh, they're made by Sharp Dress Knives. It's, uh, the, the material's from Fat Carbon. They call it White Storm. Uh, do you carry a flashlight in your regular EDC rotations? Like, uh, not that often. I do more now that it's, uh, daylight savings and stuff, and I think I'm going to be out at night. But I'm rarely going anywhere in the dark <laughs> anymore. Um, I, I always carried one when I would, like, go out to shows and stuff like that, but, um. Uh, what's the update on your Spy 27 Para 3 Lightweight? I'm trying to carry as much as I can, but um, uh, I and try to use it as much as I can, but I don't really have like any still. Any, it seems fine. I that's about all I can say so far. Uh, do you own any karambits? Um, no, I don't understand karambits. Um, what do your kids like to carry? Uh, my son is a buck guy. He has a 112 slim and a 110 fancy pants one. Um, and uh, 
Um, he wants a bug out. I loaned him my bug out for a while, and then I modded it, and then I sold it on him. But he does like the bug out a lot. Have you sharpened the Teravantium yet? No, it's not mine. This is a loaner. I have it out here, honestly, because someone loaned it to me, and they must have messaged me on Instagram, and I can't find them to send it back to them. I don't have the box. I'm hoping that eventually they're going to complain and say, hey, when are you going to send that back? Because I'd really like to send it back to them, but I've, I'm just an idiot, and I just completely lost track. Don't. Don't Instagram message me if you want to loan me something. Email me. I find stuff in email. I can search for it. I can't do that on Instagram, so I lose I lose stuff. How'd you go to uh, from buck to bug out? Very different. Because his favorite buck is the 112 um, plastic one, the 112 Slim. Are the standoffs on the bug out purple too? They are. And I will say... This is the an M4 blade, M4 coated blade. It was like 240 bucks, 250 bucks. Um, honestly, if if I didn't have so many knives to review, I don't think I would have carried anything else since the day I got this. I adore this thing. I've always liked the bug out. I love the size of it. I've been more into big knives lately, but um, I've always loved the size of the bug out and just the it's just that little bit stiffer. I like the feel of it. I tried to get my son one of these for Christmas, and he doesn't want one. He doesn't like the feel of the G10. He likes the plastic better. All right. But, um, yeah, it's just a, an awesome knife. I, I just love it. I like the look of the pocket clip. All the little pops of purple on it. M4, it's awesome. You should get a military custom, on discount on your custom bug out. I did. I got a uh, knife reviewer discount on it. So I'm just telling you what it cost. I'm not saying what I paid for it. Um, I did not you need to use a military discount. That's uh, we'll just we'll just say that. How's the eighty fifteen holding out for you? I have the cold steel variant and pondering getting the MG from Demco. Yeah, I was just talking about. I actually considered selling it because it's worth a lot, but then I carried it for a day and I'm like, I'm, I'm a dumbass. I will never sell this thing. I will sell other stuff that I can replace before that. This looks as you can give me one for Christmas, Brian. I'll gladly carry. No, I'm not going to do that. I've actually been Christmas shopping a lot today, and you know what? She's never going to see this. My daughter wants Jordans. She loves my my Jordans, which are really rare Jordans, but I just walked into a store and they were there and I bought them. I have blackout um, Jordan Retro ones. They're all black monochrome. And I was trying to find her the, the closest thing to that. Wow, it's really hard to find Jordans, especially for ladies. Holy crap. I was shocked at how hard it was to find them. Um, it was crazy. I haven't seen you break out the marksman in a while. Yeah, I just I saw it in the case today. I was like, I'm gonna bring that out for the show. It's really cool. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Benchmade Gold class? I think most of them are insanely overpriced, but um, you know, there's Benchmade collectors that are gonna pay it. So uh, more power to them. Do you know if Demco is going making more 8015s? Uh, seems like they've been, only been making 8020s. I the last time I asked them about that, they said um, that. Uh, there were no plans, and that's why I tracked down a used one. What are your thoughts on Topps knives? I've never owned one, or never really used one, because they're mostly fixed blades, but they have some folders, newer ones that I'm kind of interested in. Favorite ZT 0562 tie? By far. Gold class is like Zach stuff. Yeah, it's for collectors and stuff like that, but... You check StockX or no? Yeah, I checked StockX and Goat, and they were all really expensive. I found a pair. I found a decent pair. They're like mostly black with some like rose gold stuff on them. I think she'll be fine with. It. How do you like Griptilian in twenty CV compared to the Bug Out? I mean, it's bigger. I only have the full size. I don't like the mini grip. I never have. It just doesn't fit my hands well. But this is pretty similar. I guess I didn't think about that. Where is my grip? That's not it. Oh, there it is. Um, I didn't think I did kind of configure it pretty similar to my uh, to my full size grip. I just it's blue on the inside instead, and this is twenty CV. This is another one I need to carry. A lot of these knives I start putting aside for size comparisons, and then they never get carried. I need to do that more often. But yeah, I think I'm going to carry this tomorrow. I might carry this tomorrow, but just because I haven't in a long time, and I do love it. A twenty CV sheep's foot. I think it's definitely the best grip they ever made. Uh, does the SOCOM Elite beat the 80-15%? Yeah, the SOCOM Elite is just... Kabang! I'll bring it out here in a second. Let me put something away. 
still want to talk about that. We'll put the terrain away. I just really want to send it back to whoever owns it. So put the quiet carry away because they're not available right now and it's, it's triggering people. Um, grab the SOCOM, put that away. Yeah, I know the SOCOM does this. Yeah, I don't know why it blocked that your message there, Shannon. Savivi Ortis or something else for forty-five. Ortis, Ortis is pretty, 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 pretty great. It's pretty good. I would right at this particular moment, I'd buy an Ortis. They're awesome. I don't know. Did they sell out like everything else does with Savivi in the first run or what? But you know, this is it's a different sound, but. This is more of a ting, that's more of a bang. I don't know if that ring's even coming across on there. But you guys always, let me grab one more knife. What are we gonna grab here? Something else I wanted to talk about. Uh, we'll grab the other Demco, because I do want to talk about Demco stuff, because I'm planning a Demco video coming up. So this is the 8020. Um, Here's a knife you guys ask about all the time. This is my Chavez 229 Liberation. Um, I had to modify this knife in order to make it carryable. And when I do the full review, this will be mentioned. But uh, it's a knife that has, um, when you're actually using it, ergos are really, really, really good. Uh, I have no complaints when you're actually using it. But handling it, taking it out of your pocket, these two corners are extremely sharp. Like, not going to cut you or anything, but they are uncomfortable. And my cat scratched the inside of my hand, if you can see it there, like right the day I got this thing. So <laughs> imagine those sharp corners and having a slight cut on the back of your hand. It was very uncomfortable to get my hand in out. I didn't modify that. But also, I don't know if you can see it. See how close that blade comes to the 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 handle it's really 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 freaking close and a lot of times i'll review a knife and people say oh you didn't mention how close that blade comes and i'm like oh it's not a problem i because i have skinny fingers normally my the fat of my fingers is not enough to reach down in there well it was on this um i never cut myself but i had to, like twice reach my pocket I was like, ow and i cut myself before i got cut so i did actually take a stone and you're not even gonna be able to see it, but just rounded that off just ever so slightly so that it doesn't cut me anymore. I've never had to do that on a knife before. I love the blade on this thing. I love the way it feels in hand when it's open, but it's definitely not without its flaws, especially for the price. So um, I'm gonna hold on to it for a while, but I don't think it's a keeper. I, I'm not selling it because of the pocket clip this time. Uh, because my wife said she thinks the pocket clip is cool. So, um, yeah, yeah, the Rendencion is not that way. It's just the Liberation. Yeah, because I, I had a Rendencion before. I should have got another one, but I wanted to try the new thing. Should have gotten the other one. Maybe I'll fall in love with it again using it. I do love the action on it. It's well broken in, and I tore it apart and lubed it up and everything, and it's, like, almost totally drop shutty now. Like, there's so many things I really love about it, but that it's it's these all these sharp edges everywhere that drive me nuts metal complex did a video about what would be his apocalypse knife he chose socom curious it would be probably socom um finger troils are whack i disagree i like finger troils i don't obviously everything out here right now doesn't have one this is not a finger troil this is just a glorious sharpening choil it's it's really not a finger choil you can barely get your finger in there um but I, I like finger choils usually yeah when the blade is that close to the edge it's just bad it happens with some of the thicker knives disappointing when they stuff that much blade in dirk says yeah it's a i know i've had other ones like i said people have said that about other knives and be like no it's not a problem for me i can't i can't get my finger in there to make to make it cut myself it's totally fine but this one no one said that to me, and I discovered it all on my lonesome. And it's uh, it's really, really freaking close. 
The other problem is the tip of the blade catches your finger, finger at the end of the knife closed. Dirk, yeah, you know what, Dirk, I don't really find, I have a couple knives that I can do that, but in day-to-day -day use, it's not really a problem. Um, that is, but that's something that just getting my hand past it, I felt it a couple of times, and that was kind of, nope. So this may be on the block in the next couple of weeks, we'll see. Uh, which knives under 200 has the best feeling my car to? That is the most specific question I've ever been asked. I don't know off the top of my head. That's really, really specific. I, I don't remember stuff that, that well. Um, I do have this Gemini micarta. That's pretty good. The Kaiser's pretty good. I don't know. Um, QSP Penguin has decent micarta. Yeah, actually, I had a Penguin. It did have decent micarta. It wasn't bad. Uh... What's your favorite angle in sharpening? I just bought a Lansky Deluxe. It depends on the knife. It completely depends on the knife. Um, most EDC stuff I do around somewhere in the neighborhood of 17, but it really depends on the depends on the knife. The thickness of the blade stock, the grind, all that kind of stuff. I let the knife tell me. It's the most artsy, pretentious thing I've ever said in my life. Yeah, aftermarket, my card scales are usually better. Okay, this is not knife related, but I, I got to show you guys something that I did yesterday. And I swear I wasn't drunk. It was in the middle of the day. And um, so I, you guys know I bought that truck. Well, it's got the license plate on it from my old car. And um, I hope this is going to show up. Um, and uh, that license plate is damaged. It's... Uh, some moron ran in the back of it and scratched the plate and it's peeling. That moron was me. I ran in my own car a while ago. That's a whole other story. Um, but that plate's peeling and I have to replace it. And New York came out with new license plates. So I, I want the new license plate anyway because our old one is hideous. It was chosen when our governor was literally a blind man and you can tell. It's the most, we went from having the coolest plates in the country with the little Statue of Liberty plates to these orange navy blue monstrosities now we've got kind of a hybrid of the two but it is better and i could exchange my plate for free but i thought screw it i'm gonna pay the extra 20 bucks i'm gonna get a personalized plate and you guys always call my truck a grandpa truck and i've embraced it and this is my new license plate i apologize for the horrible rendering it's a tiny little picture they sent from the dmv website but uh yeah that that is my new license plate I won't have it for like five or six weeks, but I am quite proud of that. And I can't believe that it was available and that they improved it. I am, I'm so proud of that. It was like, I knew I was gonna have to do it. Like I knew I had to replace my plate and I'd been thinking about it. And then I was driving the other day, listening to a World War II podcast of all things. And somebody mentioned that our policy, like our military policy before World War II was basically keep off our lawn. And it just, I thought, oh my God, I wonder if I can get that as a license plate. If I had commercial plates, if my truck was a bit heavier, I'd have an extra letter and I could put the second F on it. But I'm only allowed that many letters. <laughs> so I'm so proud of that plate. I'm going to keep that plate forever. It's going to, if that truck goes away, it will get put on another car. That will be my license plate for the rest of my damn life. I am so happy with that. I don't care what kind of car it goes on. Off my lawn. I'm very happy with that. Some people say, oh, you shouldn't show your license plate. You can find anyone's license plate on the internet in 30 seconds. It doesn't, it doesn't protect your security by hiding your license plate. The only people you want to do that is if you're selling a car and you don't want people to know the full history of the car. Thoughts on the Maxima Manic 2? I love mine, Ty. I've had it for a little bit now. I really like it. You don't run a lawn and landscape business by chance, do you? No, but if you say it out loud, yeah, it does look like of my lawn, but if you say it really quick off my lawn, you, you, get, you get what it is. Um, I always think of Clint Eastwood when someone says, get off my lawn. Yeah, me too. I used to not be that. I've been saying that since long before that movie, but yeah. It's, uh, I'm very, very proud of that. I just had to show that for a minute. I'm so stoked about it. I just think it's the best license plate ever. 
and I'm sure that I'm going to get annoyed by it eventually. I'm sure that people are going to say stuff to me about it in parking lots and bother me. And I won't like that. That's already getting old, but um, that ain't going to help. But it's cool. Can we see an ugly knife? Um, yeah, sure. I can definitely do that. Um, what is an ugly knife I have around right now? Oh, isn't it sad? I just immediately look at the Spider-Co pile. <laughs> Spider-Co case. Um, it's an ugly knife I have. Oh, I know one, but I still love it. It's over here. I arrange the knives for upcoming videos. Like, I have, but yeah, here's an ugly knife. The Canis. That's an ugly one. Let me put that away. I've talked enough about the the Chavez. We'll move that away. What is on that? Oh, cat hair. Shockingly. Spider Cocanus, the best, ugliest knife. It is. I don't have the watch to anymore, or I would show that and put that in the same category. But hey, Oaken, how's it going, man? Oh, the real Slim. Yeah, why didn't I just bring that out? That's an ugly knife. Where I don't know where it is, honestly. I reviewed it. And I know it, oh, there it is. I knew it didn't make it to a case yet. Yeah. Here's a really ugly knife. But I love this thing. I still think it's great. If you guys watched my um, uh, most surprising knives of 2020, it's on that list. And it definitely is, especially for the price and everything. I think this thing is freaking awesome for what it's intended for. And yeah, I don't find the Canis as ugly anymore either, Sharp and Blade. It's kind of it's kind of grown on me, but I know... I know in my heart that it's ugly, but um, 80 20 versus 80, I assume at 15 thoughts. Um, I like the 80 20 a little better. It's more fidgety, uh, but I still love the 80 15 as well. It's still great. It looks like a knife from the neck. I don't know what that means. Canis looks like a vulture to me, and I like vultures. Yeah, the guy has, has some vulture-esque qualities, a little eyeball and the beak and stuff. Yeah, I can see that. So tomorrow's review, if I get it finished, I'm hopefully going to have a twofer videos tomorrow because one of them, uh, <laughs> I'm going to show it. I'm going to show it to you. Um, we'll put, we'll just make some room. I'm not going to put anything away. We're just going to make some room. Um, I got, we'll see if she pops on here, but um, I got one. Uh, there is a lovely woman that uh, has graced us with her presence on this channel multiple times. Um, and uh, she uh, patinas knives in a unique sort of way for you. And uh, I got I got one. And I'm going to... I started the video on it tomorrow. I'm not going to monetize the video. We refer to her as TPK. But yeah, this is a, this is a genuine, genuine TPK. Um, and I have one now, so there will be, I'm going to put it right away, but I will say uh, it came with literature and that is what I'm not sure if I can even show. I don't want to get my whole channel demonetized. Um, I'm not going to monetize the video, but I don't want to get my whole channel demonetized. So I'm not really sure exactly. I don't think I'm going to be able to display the literature that came, came with it. Um, so yeah, yeah, she obviously does not remove the pocket clips. So, yeah, but there, there are photos of the process. I will say that. No nip, though. Um, somebody asked if this was a front flipper, um, and no, it is not. Uh, it's a, a slow roller at best. It's really not much of a much of an action. Have you seen the concept Essipature in copper yet? I think I have one. I didn't know what the name of it was. They sent me a prototype with no name. I think I might have one of those. I guess it's worth getting one just for the literature. We'll see. I'm gonna copy and paste that and see if I can see if that's what I actually have. Because I've been waiting to do a review on it because I knew they were making it with no changes from the one, the prototype that I have, but I didn't know if that's what it was. Let me see. Da, 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 da. Nope, that's not the one I have. Oh wait, yes it is. It is the one I have. I have one and it's great. I love it. Cool. Now I know what it is and how much it costs. I do have one. Let me see if I have it right here, actually. I might. 
or it might be in a case. I have a box with some concepts in it, and then I have it in a case that I can't reach. And I'm not sure which which location it is in. Because sometimes concepts just show up. And it's in a case that I can't reach. But I do have one, and it is very cool, and I'm glad that now I know what it's called. Because they sent it to me, and I just never, uh, never knew when it was coming out or anything like that. Nope. It's in a case that's too far away. So awesome. Any thoughts on it? Yeah, it's a great knife. I really like it. If that's, yeah, that the, the, the S, S, Exceptor, S, Exceptor, Except, I have no idea how to say that. Uh, did you get a Spartan Harsey Plague Doctor? No, I already have a Harsey and a small Harsey, and, um, I have a, my COVID knife is my, uh, my, uh, Hinderer, I have a Hinderer, uh, Skinny Skinner COVID. That's my knife to uh, commemorate my disease. Where do the thumb studs come from on the bug out? From Benchmade. This is from the custom shop. The bug out is in the custom shop now. So this is an M4 G10 with purple thumb studs and uh, purple standoffs from the custom shop. And I will say, it only took them like a week to make this thing. It was uh, pretty good. Do you have the Elementum S35 Vienna? What do you think about it? I thought I ordered one, but I ordered the wrong one. And I got another D2. So, no, I have an Elementum. I have a purple one, but I don't have the uh, an S35 one. No, they launched the carbon fiber handles in D2 and the S35 VN on the same day. And I thought I was ordering an S35 VN in carbon, but I was not. I was getting another D2 one. So I opened the box and said, ah, crap, and sold it. Uh, Grimsmo Norseman Pandemic Dishes around 2K. I've never had a Grimsmo at all. I just don't like the way they look. Is it bad I thought you were like 19? That Quacker says, no, I take it as a compliment. No, I'm uh, 45 years old. 45 years old! But the Rask. The Rask is alright, I guess. Um, if oh, ADC knives, you think knives, knives large drink less here in the Philippines, we can't carry a knife that's over six inches fully deployed. That's what she said. Hey, yo, you say your site went up. Did you say when your site will have the uh, public knife sales? I got, I'm hope. I'm hoping, I'm hoping late this week, early next week. I'm, I'm hoping it's been a nightmare trying to get that thing going. Are you planning to get a Mini 940? Yes. I know they are sending me one. I have to bug them about when it's going to be here. I was going to ask him to send me that. Well, I know he's sending me that. I was also going to ask him to send me just a plain old bug out because I want to do like an ode to the bug out thing because I've fallen back in love with the bug out with this custom one. Um, Yeah, elementums are pretty hard to beat in value. I bet you guys can guess what color mine is. It's uh, it's purple. It's in the same case that's out of reach. Have you changed the Omega Spring in your bug out? Well, I mean, I just got this one, but no, I've never I've never had to change an Omega Spring in a Benchmade period. I do not enjoy taking them apart; they suck. But uh, I've never never had one. What's that you threw out about? Fire tax last night, NAF Sergeant. Oh, on the um, uh, USMA Blade live chat that they do on um, uh, on Instagram. Rick's always on there, and they asked how it was going. He said, "I'm just looking at a pile of fire tax we're putting together," and everybody's like, "When's it coming out?" And he was like, "I don't know, but I'm just we're we're working on fi they're doing triway fire tax by the end of the year at least." Apparently they're being assembled. So, um, yeah. I'm pretty pretty excited about that. I will definitely be... I told myself I was not going to buy another expensive knife before the end of the year, but that one I'll, I'll have to. You showed us ugly knives. How about a pretty knife? Um, what's the prettiest knife I have accessible here? I would say that it's this, but, you know... Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. We'll put one of the ugly ones away. 
Do you say that the lock on the 8020 is strongest ever handled? Nick Martino is, it's a, it's strong. I mean, I don't have equipment to measure. I, I can't see why it would be having had it apart, comparing it to a triad lock. I can't see why it would be any weaker than that. But uh, I say this is my, this is in my opinion, my prettiest knife. This is a um, ProTec Harkins ATAC. Cool little pocket clip. This amazing little thumb trapezoid on it. This is my prettiest one. Yeah, and the marble carbon. And this is the most basic one. If you want to get the crazy expensive ones, I think th these go for 450 every four years when you can get them. I don't know what they go for in the secondary. I never looked, but I like it because it's a manual. A very smooth, very nice manual because I just fail it. But it's also automatic do you have a malibu yes i do um somebody asked if i had an s I still had my sbr earlier yes i still do uh, please remove that ugly thing in the far right no it's great despite its ugliness i'm gonna leave it there just to spite you and uh came my fast 35 element are they making more of them Hellcat 438. Wish autos were legal in New York. Well, I live in New York, and yeah, I don't give uh, legal advice, but I am allowed. Um, are you planning on keeping the Marshall Mathers? I mean, Slim Shady. I mean, real Slim. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's honestly, it's such an inexpensive knife. I, I have a lot of inexpensive knives that if they're just decent, they're not worth selling. And I would put this in that category. Like, it's it's really cool, and it's fun, and it may wind up going down and replacing our letter opener knife by the door, which gets used a lot. But uh, this is an outstanding letter opener, so I might I might put it down there. Um, it's not illegal if you don't get caught. No, it's not that. I'm actually I am actually allowed because it's my job. So. Um, yeah, and that's that's all I say about that. So, because I don't want to give people legal advice and think, oh, you're going to start a YouTube channel and be able to carry automatics. It's not the way it works. I I had to go through a lot um, to make sure that I'm okay. But yeah, I still can't get them shipped here, except for from a few people though. Um, some companies still won't ship them here. But if I can get them, I'm okay. Uh, favorite small knife right now? I would say the uh, Wee Knives Banter. Still really liking that a whole lot. You still have your Spy Opera. I'm currently waiting on mine to get... Yes, Spy Opera is a very, very nice knife. I thought I'd get rid of it once I got the Bushido, or Shibuti as I call it, uh, from Riyadh. But, you know, I, I still like the Lion or the, the I keep calling it Lion Steel. Look, it is a Lion Steel. I like the Spy Opera a lot, so... Um, we can carry just about anything here, so it's pretty great. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, what's your favorite stage knife? Austin uh, Boudet says, uh, mine always, almost always, unless I forget, uh, stay in the green room. I don't usually take a knife on stage with me. Um, hey, little slice, you have an opinion on the tactile turn knife coming out soon? Reminds me of the waypoint. I did not know they were making one. I have a couple of their pens. I missed out on that. Let me develop an opinion of it right here. We're gonna we're gonna go find that tactile turn knife. I love their pens. I'm in another window, typing. So talk amongst yourself. Oh, is it one of those things? Eh, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I guess that's my opinion on it. I just one of those pens that sticks a little thing out. Hey, TPK, I was just talking about you. I just, I just gave a little tease of my video that's coming out, hopefully tomorrow morning, maybe tomorrow night. I'm going to do a little video about your, your little present you sent me. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how to do it without getting demonetized. But, but I'm going to give you a plug. You're going to get a video out of it. But uh, I'm trying to decide whether or not I can show the literature, even if I don't monetize. I'm not going to monetize the video. But uh, I'm trying to decide if I can display the literature without getting in trouble with the tubes of you. Uh, Brian, do you have the Wii Mini Buster? I do not, Simon. I had a loaner for quite some time, but I had to send it back. I don't own one. I would love to. 
but alas, I do not. See you later, Dirk. Thanks for stopping by. I'm on 146 feet on here. There's probably more than that at some point. I always forget to look at my own damn things. Or to say, hey, Super Chat's open, join, all that stuff. You still have the SBR? Yeah, I just said a few minutes ago. Yeah, I still got it. Still like it. Still the thwackiest little thwack thwack the ever thwacked. Uh, seen some no com. Seen some auto so com no manual yet. Looking for a drop point version stone wash. Yeah, I, I don't have an auto. But this is a manual, but I, I just like the manual so com. It's just so smooth and it's just really nice. I just got an SBR. What a superb knife! It is great. Actually, it's, it's within reach. I can grab it. I think it is. There it is. It's just so thwacky. Like, of all my Protex, this hits the hardest of all of them. It's just, it's crazy town. And it's such a little bitty thing. That was my first Protex. wasn't this one. It was a green one with an acid wash blade. And uh, actually, uh, Doug from Protex handed it to me at Blade Show, and I was very happy to have it. And But then um, one of these popped up, so I got this and sold the green one, because you guys know I don't like green. Uh-oh, do I have a scratch on it? <gasps> There's a scratch on it. It's a knife. I don't care. It's a tiny little scratch. Best Spidey flick knife that's not a Spidey. Oh, for sure it would be... Um... You knew you were going to get through a whole live show without a hinder. It would be the Fullard Spear XM18. Absolutely. Yes, I just messed it up. God performance anxiety it's great I, I really like this uh ever handle a freeman 451 button lock folder yes i did a review on it you can go back in the archives and find that i like it um it's a lot of fun doesn't cut stuff that well but other than that fun knife i guess that's what i call it um oh yeah i'll be receiving my sbr acid wash in a few days um still in hong kong customs from blade hq uh, what's the most expensive knife in your collection? Well, this probably is by the sum of its parts because it's a 400... No, it still might not be. Yeah, $425 knife and a $200 scale, but, um... Most expensive just put together isn't really... This was... No, I was saying this is still less than this new even, but now it'll be my uh, Microtech Hellhound the the distressed gray handles i would say this is probably my most expensive um i know yeah because this was 683 dollars i remember exactly what it cost because uh i don't mean to like like brag and boast but uh brian rarely pays retail and he paid retail for that so um brian remembers that because <laughs> brian wanted one of these for a very long time and he was so upset by having to pay retail for it that now he talks about himself in the third person. I just sold my most expensive knife, Koenig Arius, went off to New Home today. Yeah, that's going to be probably one of my next most expensive knives is an Arius. I keep saying that, and yeah. Does Brian like his chicken spicy? Oh, you know it, Steve Walker. Absolutely, for sure. As the best looking hinderer ever made. Thank you, Nick Martino. I appreciate it. And I didn't make it, but on behalf of Rick, who I barely know, <laughs> I'm going to thank you. No, I just, I really love this scale. It is Battle Bronze on the other side, too. I actually just put this, uh, I've had this pocket clip kicking around. It came with another knife. I didn't like it because it had a bullet on it, and I'm not a gun guy. But then I thought, well, it's got a Warthog on the front. It should have a bullet on the back. So I flipped that around. Good day to you as well, Nasheed. Not selling my Arius. That's a staple of the collection. Yeah, I think if I ever got one, I would never let it go. I want a non-flipper. Most expensive, either Holt Spectre or Norseman. Yeah, those go through a lot. Show my favorite budget knife. Well, currently, it's the... Because it's new. And I'm just in love with it. And it's not here. I don't know where it is, but currently it's the Civivi Ortis because um, it's new and I really, really like it. 
Uh, but of all time, probably R2-D2, Ontario Rat Model 2, which I do have that on. I do have that here because it's a size comparison knife, so it is in the size comparison drawer. If you looked at my office space, you would think there was no rhyme or reason to where stuff is. But you know what? I know where it is. And I know exactly where to grab it from. So, yeah. R2-D2 would probably be, like, my all-time favorite. But currently the... No, I like the regular Ortis, because it's under 40 bucks. I think spending a lot of money on an Ortis, I'm like, well, why would you, why would you do that? There's... Lots of stuff, but love the R2-D2. And this one was not black. It was originally tan. And I tried to dye it purple. And as you can tell, it went horribly wrong. So it is now black. So I tried to dye it purple. It came out way too dark. So I just left it in the purple for way too long on purpose to make it black. And now it is black. But you can't go wrong with a R2-D2. Everybody talks about the penguin. I, I, I said earlier I had a penguin in my card. I didn't. I had the other, the more expensive one in my card. I still have to get a penguin. Is everybody raised by how amazing they are? The Rat 2 is like a budget wee banter, no frills, just a good knife. Yep, absolutely. They are remarkable for 30 bucks, that is for sure. It is definitely kind of an only knife you need sort of situation for... I think the D2s are a bit more than that, though, aren't they? Oh, the Penguin. I say the D2s. Um, do you remember the last when the last time DLT had the non-flipper fuller spear in stock? Well, it's when I bought mine, which was not that long ago. It was this year, for sure. Can you please bring out your Bounty Hunter? Sure. I'll put the uh, SBR away. Put these side by side. These are only two Microtech OTFs I have. <sighs> is OS is the OS eight better than the D two on the rat? I hear a lot of discussion. Depends. I, I D two is going to better edge retention, but a little harder to sharpen. OS eight was the first one. The D two is considered by them to be an upgrade. It is more expensive. Um, it depends. On which one you want to deal with. The D2 is harder to sharpen, but it will hold an edge longer. Hello, everyone. Keith, are you here from the shooting lodge? No, Lavender Pants, he's not. And welcome, but uh, no, he does not have internet access. So, uh, could you please bring all the boys to the yard? Richard Fan says, I, yeah, my milkshake is not doing well tonight. I don't think it would bring any boys out. D2 is an awesome seal. It's not one of my favorites. It's fine. I don't really get upset when I get it, but it's not, not my favorite. It's just chippy and pain in the butt to sharpen. Some of the steel testing channels have favored the OS8 and the Rat. I can imagine why. I don't I don't love I don't love D2. How the situation with the COVID going for you, Hellcat 438. Thank you for asking, but pretty much still the same. I'm what? Four months? Four months out. It's been that long? Yeah, I'd still say I'm about 95%. I am uh, I still get tired randomly sometimes, and I can't think of anything else to blame it on other than that. Um, just out of the blue, I'm just exhausted and just have to go to sleep. So um, uh, not for long, for like 20 minutes, but I just get these random like must-have nap now situations, but... I feel like my lungs are all right. My heart rate's still not quite as good as it used to be, but it's getting better every day. Uh, will you be getting a Boker Dessert Warrior? I will be freaking trying to, that's for sure. I really want one. It's just ridiculous. And for the price, it's it's fine to be ridiculous. Any thoughts on the Wii Knife Company sub-brand? I don't understand why they did it, Richard Fan, but um, all right. Yeah, I guess they're going to be even cheaper knives, even cheaper than Civivi. I can't remember what it's called. I saw the little press release on it, and I was like, nope. Okay. Um, I guess they're going to be, like, on, like, Amazon and places like that or something like that. 
Buddy just getting tired is old age. No, that's not a Justin Brown. It, it, it happened over. It happened when I got sick, and then I, I'd never had it until then. But it's not just getting old. It's definitely from being sick. Um, they really need to do an XXL Dessert Warrior. I agree, Naf Sergeant. You checked out a Wiimote Hellcat 438? Yes, I did. I had one, and I didn't bother to do a review on it. I didn't hate it, but uh, it was way smaller than I expected it to be, and my review was just going to be very meh, and I just uh, just didn't do it. I had other stuff to do, and it just... It's really... It's easy to record reviews of stuff that I hate. It's easy to record views of stuff that I love. The really, really just meh stuff is um yeah spencer patterson hey there what's your rocking on the wrist today um it is a citizen pro master on one of these stretchy nato strap things but yeah it's just the the standard citizen pro master uh i got a wiimote in my hands right now but it just changes the tv channels but what favorite material handles in order? That just sounds like that sounded like a demand. Um, I don't know. Uh, it depends. Uh, some carbon, some micarta, some titanium. It depends on the knife. They all have personalities. Some I think are better in G10 than they are in titanium. It's uh, it depends on the knife. Poker dessert warrior. Yeah, they they took uh, one of these and um, this one has a silly paint job too, but they painted up like a cupcake, and they make them from time to time. But yeah, this is the one of my silly ones. The older I get, the more I love naps. Naps are good, and, and I will say, having had COVID, it is a good excuse to take a nap every now and then, but it is also annoying. I would like to not have to need a nap. It's not every day. It's every couple of days, though. I'm just like, I just get blown out. I honestly kind of want dessert. Yeah, me too. I got groceries today. What good stuff did I get for... Oh, I got some really good ice cream. I think I'm going to go down and have a, uh, a Nutty Buddy. I always buy Nutty Buddies. I don't care how old you are. Nutty Buddies are amazing. Without your most expensive Benchmade. Man, you guys are just being demanding tonight. Nobody's even asking nicely. At least buy me dinner first. Come on. There she is. <clears throat> Anthem is my most expensive bench made. By far. Uh, and I like it very much. Actually, we're going to swap out. We're going to put the 8015 away. i got to start putting these back in their actual spots. Or I'm going to be completely discombobulated. I already am. Where is... I've already put something back in a wrong slot. What she said. Well, that's not right. I don't even know where anything goes anymore. You guys made me completely disorganize my whole freaking knife case. Like in the middle of the day, I don't know what you're asking about. The nap thing? Yes, in the middle of the day. I work at home, so I can do that. Anthem seems so sweet. I like the whole one. It, it is. And they discontinued them, and I totally get why. It's it's not like a Benchmade. Like, I know it is a Benchmade. I know it looks like it has an access lock, but it really doesn't. It's on a totally different spring system, if you can see it in there. It's like on a coil spring instead of the Omegas. It's an integral. It doesn't feel like any other Benchmade. It's the, oh, bang the camera. Is that the Grey Ghost on the right? It was. You must be behind or something. It's The Grey Ghost is, is I put that away a while ago. Self-employed, I know my schedule and forgive myself ahead of time one minute and I for you. Yeah, it's me too. So most basically my day is to give you guys I'm just gonna give you the idea of my day. I go to bed about I don't go to bed, I'm a pretty late night person, so I go to bed like one usually. And then I'm usually up by I get up about six. And then because I, I'm really busted up, I've broken a lot of bones over the years and things get sore, especially now. Oh my god, this week has been so bad. It went from being 75 to being being 45 and rainy and every old injury I have hurts so I go to bed at one 
I, I can only lay in bed for five hours at a time or I'm really, really sore. So I usually honestly set an alarm for five hours after I go to bed and I get up, get most of my real work done, like proper work, like recording these videos and stuff like that, doing pack and ship and all that stuff, sending out emails and all that stuff before nine in the morning. And then about 10 or so, I, uh, I go... I go to sleep for a couple hours, and then I get up, and then I finish. Then I work until 7 or 8 at night. That's uh, kind of how my schedule has been, especially since COVID. I did that sometimes, but before COVID, I could just plow through a day if I had to, but not anymore. Uh, if you're... Okay, if you're into steel and don't mind the color blade, you should give a native 5 lightweight S90V for $122.50. S90V is a, not a steel I'd recommend for people who um, uh, can't sharpen stuff. S90V is a nightmare to sharpen. It will take a long time to go dull, but man, it's a pain in the butt. And I don't think any the most experienced sharpener you know is still going to say it's it takes a long time. Even if you have all the right tools. Uh... Mick Kimes says, my moat had a terrible detent. I don't remember mine having a bad detent. Uh, I just ordered the new Worksharp on Amazon. Be interesting to try that. Oh, yeah, that launched today, didn't it? It's really, really cool. New spinner. I missed the morning pocket dumps. Yeah, I just haven't had time to lately trying to get the site going. I haven't forgotten about them. I will start doing them, but uh, that's a lot of time I'm working on setting the site up, so... Uh, in the mornings because I used to record those in the mornings but what are some of the best sharpener in your opinion please lol I don't, I don't know why it's an lol Daniel Jefferson but yeah that work sharp we were just talking about the uh, what's it called the box is over here can I read it from here the precision adjust knife sharpener is freaking awesome uh, just waiting on the doorbell to ring for my KME delivery yeah KMEs are probably the best uh, what steel should I practice on first? I don't know, 4TC, 20 8 8CR, something cheap. Uh, I hand sharpen everything. I lube my stones with my tears, Stan, the guy says. <laughs> hey, Oaken, see you later. Uh, one of the Demicos carries an 8020 Warncliffe in S90V. Oh, who the hell disliked it? It's amazing. First catch live for a while. Okay, now, people dislike stuff all the time. When I go to uh, metal complexes, I dislike his videos all the time. Honestly, it's all secret. The dislikes don't hurt the videos at all, unless it's like over fifty percent. Dislikes actually help the videos. So when you guys click dislike, it doesn't. It doesn't hurt anything. Give in to your anger. It makes you stronger. I don't know why I did it in a Bane voice. That was weird. I went for Palpatine and got Bane. I missed that. Yeah, you can't see who dislike videos. Uh, from my experiences and experience, Shepard, SNAV is only a, only really a nightmare to reset the bevel. Yeah, which is something you, you do sometimes, and it's a nightmare. Sharpen Blade says, I'm going to dislike your videos. Well, that's not what I meant, but I'm just saying it doesn't hurt. A couple more of you did, though. I'm at 72 to 3. But there are 137 of you on here, and I think we're up to like 160 at one point. So, and only 72 likes. So, you can just click something. I don't care what it is. Just click something. I may have the worst heartburn today. I don't know where it's coming from. I have a tenacious that is dull, so maybe that. Yeah, start out with that. That'd be a very good one. But what needs an edge the most are the kitchen knives. And the kitchen knives, are, kitchen knives are hard to do on a KME. I actually use my um, WorkSharp uh, belt-driven thing, the Ken Onion Sharpener, for those. I'm going to try this again. If you could have one knife under 130, what would it be? Well, I'm doing a whole thing. Um... On uh, there's on, on the community page, letting you guys choose. So you can go there and look there. I don't know what I would have under 130. Depends on what's out that week. Right now, um, 
probably the uh, Fair and Forge Singer will be pretty high up there. Uh, you know that's only five hours of sleep. Yeah, that's about all. I, I think in a day I get I get six or seven, but it's split in two batches. <laughs> that's just the nature of being busted up. I just can't lay in one place that long. If I sleep for seven or eight hours, I wake up very well rested and unable to move. Y'all about to go in the shower with me. Free Ooh, Freedom Van. And don't don't talk so sexy to me. Might be the wee banter. Yeah, Jesse Brianna, that's a good knife too, but it's I'm not a it's it's a little small for some people, I think. Uh BD Swing says there's a real man on 60 minutes right now. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you watching two things at once? You're not paying complete attention to me. Miss Bringer, I got six hours of sleep last night and gonna be up twenty-four. Yep. One minute knife review says so back surgery and problems. I'm in the same boat. I know it is. Four hours and up. Yep. My family's finally gotten used to it. Like my wife at first, when we first got together and lived together, she would kind of thought I was lazy because I'd nap every day, but I'm like, I just literally can't lay in I have I've had seven broken ribs, two broken vertebrae. I have two or three bulging discs in my neck. And I just can't lay in one spot. I just can't move, no matter how comfortable the bed is, no matter what you do. I'm screwed. CBD has helped me out a lot, though. I will say, I am very much a CBD fan. The old CBD, as I call it, uh, works very, very well. It's really helped me out a whole lot. But, um, yeah, CBD and a, and a leave every couple of days. Like, when the weather changes like this, I have to resort to the leave. But... REM cycle is 1.5 hours. You'd be more rested if you sleep in multiples of that. So 4.5 is better than 5, but it takes more than 30 minutes to fall asleep. I can't do that much math at night, Christopher. Richard Fan says, oof, that is one broken body. Yeah, I I ruined my, I wore my body out by the time I was, I retired from mountain biking at 23 because I was so busted up. Uh, cathartic EC held the CRGB Malaya. I think the black and red thumb stud will cure my mini freak lust. I have not. That's the swags one, right? Uh, Riley H says THC also helps considerably for body pain. Yeah, I, I could. And in New York State does have uh, medical cards, and I'm sure I could get one. Um, but uh, I just haven't bothered to. I think once it's legal for recreational, which is going to be probably like first session of next year. Then I'll probably go back on it again and stop with the CBD. But um, right now the CBD does enough for me. Uh, Tackle Central Fishing says winter must be rough. No, honestly, cold is fine. It's just it's when it changes. It, once it settles in, it's it's just uh, then it's all right. You can't conceal carry if you get a medical card. Oh, I didn't know that. I'll wait till it's good for recreational then. I was going to anyway. I love my bike, but mine has a V-twin. Well, I, yeah, I, I re quit mountain bike a long time ago. Still ride some, but seems to be a pressure wave with weather changes. One minute knife review says, yeah, and you know what? My sister just really messed up her ankle. She had to have her ankle screwed back together. And her doctor said that all that stuff about weather changes making your bones hurt is bullshit. You know what? I just want to smack that dude. I've lived through this for 20 freaking years. It is not bullshit. Definitely weather changes absolutely make your bones hurt more. I'm talking motorcycle, talking bicycles or motorcycles. I don't know. I don't think we're talking about either, really. Uh, Matt J says, you just cannot purchase a firearm from a gun store with a medical card. How do they even know that you have one? One minute knife. He says, "I'm a physical therapist. My re my opinion counts, also." Yeah, sure. Yes, it does. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna quote you the next time that uh, somebody tells me that oh that that's just an old wives' tale doesn't exist. Let's talk about scooters. I have in my garage. I have not ridden it in three years, and I need to sell it. I have a Suzuki Bergman 650 Executive. I love big scooters. I think they're great, but my neck got bad enough that I couldn't bear the weight of a helmet on top of my head anymore and i sold it but you know what i think uh, my neck's been a lot better i'm gonna give it another shot next year i'm gonna get back on the road i've got a 2009 
Bergman 650 Executive with cruise control added to it, all kinds of stuff. Just sitting there, and I haven't had the heart to sell it. I think I'm going to put it back on the road in the spring. Give it another shot. The X-18 is the 57 of Chevy and Knives. What's the Toyota Camry to you? Oh, Toyota Camry. Probably be a PM2, I would say. The power has returned to Ethan Ruins EDC. Probably going to hell for that. I believe for kitchen knives, many of us want to sharpen the edge like our folders. When really, yeah, you do have to have a much different sharpening edge on it. Oh, what's the Prius of knives? Hmm. Hmm. Probably a Swiss Army knife, I would say, would be the Prius of knives. If you're talking modern folders, yeah, Delica, maybe. Somebody said that. Yeah, Delica, it's a little overpriced, but it works fine. Yeah, Delica, I would say be the Prius of knives. A uh, Rat 2 would be like, a, like the Chevy S10 of of knives. It's a little small, but works really well. What's the new version of the... Uh, no, Toyota Tacoma. That's one. That's a good small truck. Yeah. A Rat 2 would be the Toyota Tacoma of, of, of knives. The Rat 1 would be the full-size pickup of knives. I'm going to say Chevy, but that's because I'm a GM guy. I'm actually going to say GMC, but it's because I own one. Uh... Remember when Big Red EDC said a pink open L for the Air Force? Yeah, and it was very funny. I laughed about it. Uh, what about the Aventador Huracan, like the 4 day? Oh, I'd say probably like a Conagarius would be one of those. And <laughs> what car is the real slim? Um, I'm trying to think of a charming small, uh, an ugly but charming small car. Um, it's the it's the Citroen uh, 2CV. Yeah, Citroen 2C. What's the new S10? They don't call it that anymore. The, um, is it the Colorado still? What's the new small Chevy? I like the new Ford Ranger, I will admit, even though I'm a Chevy guy, way better than the new small Chevy. <laughs> the HHR. Yeah, the Colorado. Yeah, I, I do like the new Ranger better than the new Colorado, but. And I, and as much as I'm a Chevy guy, don't get me wrong. If I could ever had the opportunity to buy a Ford Raptor, I'd buy one in a millisecond. Chevy doesn't make anything like that. Chevy doesn't make a Raptor type truck. Now Dodge has the what the double X or whatever. But yeah, the GMC Canyon, yeah, they they look cool, but a TRX, yeah. The TRX, I would love to, like, those are, but why doesn't, why doesn't Chevy make something like that? I was going to say I'd sell one of my children for one, but my children are too old to sell now. They're 18 and 21. Nobody wants one of those. New Bronco is growing up. I mean, yeah, people told New Bronco, New Bronco is pretty cool. Now, if you guys are annoyed that we're talking about trucks instead of knives, it's the last 15 minutes of the show. This happens. Um, they do they they kind of do the Colorado Bison yeah but it's a smaller one it's not a full size I want a full size crazy one I want a full size crazy GM I want the ZR1's supercharged V8 in a ridiculous pre-runner style truck better trucks than pickles this is true 8020 is a Raptor with balls hanging off. No, it's more sophisticated than that. It wouldn't have truck nuts. This is a very sophisticated knife. It's just big. Uh, do you like Birdshot channels? Guys, super cool. Yeah, I like I like Frankie and Bird a lot. I had uh, had dinner with them one night at um at Blade Show. Richard Fan says, "Is it just me, or do farts smell worse when you're in the shower?" I think absolutely. I do believe it's related to the steam. 
I think the fart molecules cling to the, sting mo the steam molecules and it makes them float around your head for longer. That's my theory. Sounds scientific. And apparently in 2020, all I got to do is sound sciency and it becomes science. So, Chevy dropped the ball with the Blazer too. A lot of decisions are based on the paint pictures. Yeah, the new Blazer's crap. Why didn't they make it look old, old and boxy like everybody else did? That new, that new, that new uh, Blazer is just garbage. Um, what's your favorite soda? Regular plain old Coke. That's true. Fart molecules are hydrophilic. I don't know what that means, but thank you, Stan the Guy. You have a name that sounds like you're an authority. Uh, Bertie and Frankie live here in Indy. Yep, yeah, they do. I hate Indiana, but I'm glad that you guys live there and you enjoy it. Never had a good time in Indiana. Can't stand it. Um... You know, coke guy. No, nope, I don't. That's one of the best things about my body is that it hates cocaine. I'm I'm quite quite proud of the fact that I my body hates cocaine. It probably has saved me a lot of money and a lot of heartache over the years. Tried it a couple times in college, didn't like it. It was like for 15 minutes I thought it was the best thing that ever happened to me, and then for 15 minutes I was sweaty and my heart was racing, and then for another hour I thought the cops were coming to get me. And then I got done with it and realized that cost me $50. So I'm, uh, I'm so glad that my body hates cocaine. Um, didn't you study criminology in college? Yes. That's um, primarily, uh, when you study criminology in college, it just tells you how to get away with stuff. Uh, any news of Cold Steel making 80, 20, thanks. Uh, the only information I have on that, Mario, is, is old. It's probably seven, eight months old. There were no plans, but that was seven, eight months ago. I can't fathom that they won't. I can't fathom we won't see a shark lock next year sometime from Cold Steel. If there is a Blade show, um, I would bet pretty highly you're going to see something. I have no inside info, but I, I would think Cold Steel will make something with that. Uh, Brian, what do you think of the Wii Practic? It was a very nice knife. I, I see they're back again. I, I thought maybe they were gone. But I think, didn't they just do another run of them recently? I did a review of it. What's your favorite three-inch blade folder? Oh, there's so many of them. I don't know. I've really been kind of fallen for the um, old uh, um, uh, Spyderco Sage 5 again. Isn't that three-inch or right, at, right about there? Man, really be harping. QP says, is the Malice still your favorite? We, yeah, but the Gava is really nice. I actually have it right here. Um, I will tell you that the Gava is going to be in my um, top 10 most carried, pretty sure, for this month, because I've been carrying a lot. The Gava is really, really good. It's 2.17 a.m., time to go to bed with the conversation goes to drugs. <laughs> there you go, Corn Mallard. No, it was just one drug. It wasn't drugs. It wasn't plural. Don't make us sound like deviants. It was one drug we were talking about. And we were all talking about how much it sucks. Don't do drugs, kids. Uh, you got me into Cold Steel, Brian. If you make it an 80-20, I'll be all over it. Yeah, that was... I'm not opening drugs, by the way. Well, I guess it's kind of drugs. It's uh, Tums Chewables. Oh, I got a pink one. Those are good. Oof, two forty for the Wii Gava. Yeah, but it's worth it. It's a really nice knife. Brzezeski Design does a great job. I can't remember the steel on it. Apparently, one of you guys is on the stats page. You can tell me. Is it S thirty five or twenty CV? I don't remember. Honestly, once stuff gets above S thirty five, I don't pay that much attention anymore because that's just fine. It's a Wii, so I'll need my glasses to read it. I also have one of you guys look it up. 20 CV. Yeah, there you go. Well, it's not bad at all. Full tie, 20 CV. It's a great knife. I'm going to have to rewatch your review. It just didn't seem to stand out to me, but people I trust really love it. It's a great knife. If you're still talking about the Gava. M. Honestly, um, I would say, sorry, 
this uh, Tums is sticking to my teeth. I would say I like it more now than I did when I reviewed it. It's really been growing on me more and more and more. I was a little annoyed because the finish wasn't what I thought it was going to be. But that was my fault. But um, I love it. Oh, I like these chewy ones so much better than the regular chalky Tums. But, man, they stick to your teeth. It's because I mostly, I've been wanting to get something crazy. I hope someday Cold Steel is a 5 Max. They'll be, they'll be awesome. I would, if it had 5 Max in the Scout, especially in the cheap version, I'd be lining up for that. What's your favorite 3-inch blade folder? I literally answered that like three minutes ago. I would say, I, I, there's so many. Spider Coast Stage 5's really been hitting me again lately. Um, should I go for an 0562 CF as next knife? Carl Andrews says, I like the tie better, but, um, I know it's, it's pretty 50-50 on that, but I like the tie. The 0562 tie is definitely my favorite ZT they've ever made that I've, that I've held. There's some of the older Hinderer ones that I'm sure I, I might like more, but. Where would the 80-20 line and update updated favorite fidget list it might it might win <laughs> honestly just because it's fidgety and huge <laughs> so it's just it's not even that huge it's just my definition of huge has changed over the years but um it's just yeah it might win smock is still really hard to beat but i don't have one anymore i sold my smock it's harder to find the tie carl andrews says yeah but the tie is the newer one so i i bet there'll be more of them made sooner. Does that make any sense? Uh, what's the most fidget? Somebody, did, that's what we were just talking about. I would say right currently in my collection, it's probably the 8020. Oh, excuse me, God. Should I get the first Chris Reeves or USA Made Blade half track Warney if I've got an XM18? Ooh, if you have an XM18, hmm. The half track morning is freaking awesome. I mean, I like my Chris Reeves too, and I did go down the the rabbit trail of I did that. You know, if there could be only one, and it was a Chris Reeves, it's my Inkosi. If I could only own one knife, but uh, I'd have I'd have to get the warning. It's so cool. It's just so cool. Uh, Hollywood Tactical Smock or a Coochie? If I had to pick one, oh, probably the Smock. I guess it's a little bigger and more versatile. I sold them both, and the one that I miss the most is, is the Akuchi. But I would say for most people, get the smock. If you had, you bought the 8020 again, would you still go with the thumb hole and thumb stud? Yes. Thoughts on the Hogue EX03? I don't know which one that is off the top of my head, Ethan. Did I have one? I might have had one. I reviewed a Hoagie EX something. If you search Slicey Dicey Hogue, I think it was a one, though. I think it was a, it was a little one. Um, most minor thing that ruined a knife for you. Um, hmm, most minor thing. Pocket clips, probably. Um, destroy knives for me. Uh, that's probably the smallest thing that really freaks me out. Um, hardware not matching too kind of messes me up. Um, you know, like, uh, if you get, if you have like, uh, like all the hardware is black, but it has a silver pivot screw. That, that annoys me. It was a DECA in the EX-05. I've reviewed more Hogs than that. Um, 0562 tie or save for an XM18? Uh, both, I would say. I would say buy an 0562 tie, and if you really like it, begin saving for an XM18. That is what I would say. You have any other pocket clips with the Spartan Harsey? I, I do not know of any, Jesse. I don't know of any. And you're asking because you won one. 
Let's show Jesse his knife. I mean, this isn't his. This is mine. But he's getting one. And I did email um, Spartan today. The 48 hours passed. Nobody else claimed it. I know it's you now. So, um, yeah, he won this. One of these. Not this one. This one's mine. He can't have it. But, uh, yeah. Did you enjoy the new Mandalorian episode? I did, but um, I will say there's a special place in hell for people who put spoilers in their thumbnails on freaking YouTube videos because I have to be on YouTube all day. It's my freaking job. And popped up with all kinds of crap for... They said, you know, like, uh, episode three review, season two, episode three review, and with a thumbnail showing the person that they... They, I'm not gonna say any spoilers, but they're like showing like the big the big reveal in the freaking thumbnail of the video. I unsubbed from like, I I shit you not five channels. I was so mad because I don't watch it until my wife gets home, because my wife loves it. Oh, it was so frustrating. So I knew the big thing before I sat down to watch it. It really pissed me off. Who does that to people? You don't put it in the thumbnail of the video. You start the video and you say, hey, spoilers are going to start in, in 30 seconds. I'm going to flash a little sign before I start with the spoilers. In the thumbnail. So mad. Somebody let me know when they're done talking about the Mandalorian. We're done talking about the Mandalorian. Somebody tell them that. I didn't say anything. I would I would never spoil it for somebody because it's one of the best television shows in the history of mankind. Yeah. I don't care what the show is. Spoilers in the thumbnail. That's just a... That's a special kind of asshole. Anti-vaxxers do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. There are probably people who double dip at parties. Even with COVID. They'll still go for a second scoop of that salsa, those people who put spoilers in the thumbnails. They don't wash their hands if they go to the bathroom. They send your wife dick pics. They're terrible people. Oh, yeah, Matt. I, I've been going through a thing with uh, Matt J today. Um, we're friends on Instagram. As we're, we're just friends, but we talk on Instagram a lot. He lost his bounty hunter today. <laughs> and, uh, he found it. But I went through the, the journey with him of him messaging me like, oh my God, I lost my bounty hunter. I don't know where it is. He's a very fortunate man. Can I say, can I tell you, you tell the people where you found it? Because I can't believe you found it there. Uh, the germs from my crash keep the runner back. I don't think that's how it works, mate. I'm sorry to tell you, but I'm drinking a dogfish head 90 minute IPA. Which is probably why I'm getting angry. Uh, that's like putting your whole mouth in the dip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he lost it in his parking lot at work and he found it. And had not been run over, to my knowledge. Because he wasn't crying about it, so. How many hours did you think that it was uh, gone? I don't like IPAs either, John... John Shores, but I I like them, I like them when they're this much booze, nine percent. I like Imperials, but I don't like regular IPA either. I'm so done with IPAs. But this ninety minute doesn't really taste like an IPA. I don't know. It tastes more like a like a Belgian, but not like a Belgian white. It kind of tastes like a Lefe with a bit more of a bite to it, and way more booze. It tastes like Lefe Double X. If you ever, they don't import it. I don't think. But if you're ever in Europe and can get Lefe Double X, it tastes kind of like 90 Minute. Missing for 24 hours? You didn't say that. Oh my god, I wouldn't have made fun of you about it if I'd have known that. I'd have been in a fetal position by then. A, I don't think that's the, that's the real Barack Obama. And B... Bye bye. And it's not a political statement. I just don't like people who spam things. Um, 
Lavender Pants, what was lost for friends? Matt J lost his uh, his bounty hunter for 24 hours, but he found it. His ha it's happy ending. Yes, no politics here. This is not a political channel. I never do. You got to do craft IPAs from breweries, the retailers. Never... No, I, and I do a lot of. Um, I do a lot of. Uh, this, this is a craft beer. Dogfish head is, but no, I, I. That's all I drink pretty much is craft beer. But I'm just sick of IPAs. I'm just tired of them. Yeah, Grumpy Grunt, you're right. Don't think of your your knife as having been lost, Matt J. It was on a side mission. Which you'll understand as you watch the series. There's a lot of side missions in The Mandalorian. But he said official. <laughs> I have Barack Obama's number in my phone. It's not really him, but I made somebody's name Barack Obama. So occasionally my phone rings and it says Barack Obama, and it makes me laugh. I sent a picture to a few people after I found it. The collective response was, oh no, it got all scratched up, Which, to which I had to respond with the, oh no, it came that way. You should have, no, Matt J, we should say, no, I paid extra for it to be that way. <laughs> Uh, I got a Hitex chip in my car to too light, lost it for a week. It was under the seat of my car. Christopher Salmon says, I had a my original bug out um, I couldn't find for probably a month. And, um, yeah, it was uh, under the seat. Like, it was, like, wedged, like, under the seat rail of my car. Like, it didn't, it fell out of my pocket, went between the seat and the center console, but it was so slim that it could slide under the seat rail. So it was like under the seat, the seat rail. It took me out. I think it was gone for like a month. I was vacuuming under my seat and it, the vacuum was strong. And it was one of those vacuums from like the, the, the car wash. And it was strong enough that it like actually sucked it out enough just so I could see some blue. And I was like, oh, it's my bug out. John Shore says, Die Hard is the best Christmas movie. Yes, it is. Die Hard is definitely a Christmas movie. And it's got the best Christmas song ever. It's got Christmas and Hollis in it. Um, but the two best Christmas songs are Christmas and Hollis and uh, MC Chris's uh, Evergreen. Seatbelts are notorious for making knives go missing. Yep. Home Alone is my go-to Christmas movie. Yeah. I never really got into that. I like uh, Christmas Vacation, of course, is amazing. Well, we've gone over our hour and a half. It's a 90-minute IPA, and I'm not done with it yet. I've failed. But uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Um, nowhere near our record. Our record was, what, 360, but that was because I was giving stuff away. But, yeah, we had a good solid, I think, 170 I saw at one point. Like, I stuck around for a long time. I really appreciate it. I always do. I'll try and be better about promoting the super chat and all that stuff. I, I keep forgetting to do that when Keith's not here to bother me. Um, yeah, I got 98 likes. It's not too bad. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. I really enjoy these things. It is a great way to end my weekend. And now I'm going to stay up for like another, you know, four hours watching crap I shouldn't watch and then go to bed. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.